Coach Clayton here in the lab uh, at Sports City U. Today we're going to talk about layups, finishing at the rim in a layup situation. And we're going to talk about some of the reasons why you miss that shot. Okay. So the first reason we're going to the basket here. One of the big things we need to understand is in, in, in any shot, whether it's a layup, a jump shot, a foul shot, grip is critical. So how we grip the ball really determines how we shoot the ball. Now, when you're going in for this shot, the most important dribble is the last dribble. And when most people are dribbling to the basket, their hand is in a position like this, dribbling the ball. On the last dribble, their hands go from the top of the ball to the side of the ball. Well, when their hand goes to the side of the ball, they have to swing it over to get it back. All right, sometimes they get it back, sometimes they don't. And when they don't, okay, it's halfway in the middle or the defense is stripped it. So as we're going towards the basket, we want to keep the ball away from the defender. All right, so when we're coming in on this layup, we want that last dribble to come up high on that shoulder. We want to make sure our hands to the ball. We want to make sure we're in a ready position. And then all we have to do is go up and shoot it. We're never going to show the ball to the defense, okay? Here we go. So watch what happens. I'm coming in here, boom, and I'm right up on that shot. I'm aiming for that square, all right? And that square is the line. And there's two types of shots, a bank shot and a Swiss shot. On this one, we're going right to the bank. How you'll know is when you go this way, if you take the ball on the side, it's going to swing. What swings over sometimes comes back and it looks like that. So we hit there when we should have hit up there. But if our hand is already ready to shoot it as we go up, it's going to hit the same place every time. And that is consistency. And that's what we're after. And just remember, you can't win close games when you miss close shots. These are a couple of drills we use to, to emphasize this teaching point. She's ripping it from the right wing to the basket, keeping it away from the defender, taking her hand to the ball, no swing, high dribble again, shooting hand behind the ball, finishing on the bank shot, not the rim. All right, she's coming right there, going right, perfect. Now we're changing the angle from the top of the key. She's again ripping it, going to the right, and she's got one or two dribbles, hands behind the ball. Again, uh, shooting ready, ready to shoot the ball, not swing the ball. And, you know, one big thing you really realize, we do this on the right side. We want to be able to do the exact same drill on the left side with the exact same technique. We're going here uh, left to right, but in another drill we could be going right to left. So you should be able to do it perfectly the same way on both sides of the court.